Here's a question for you. Would an extra five cents a bottle or can motivate you to collect and deposit your empties? What if wine and liquor bottles also got added to the program? Well, dozens of community groups believe those changes would help with recycling efforts, and they are pushing to get this included in a budget agreement between the governor and the state legislature. And joining us live now is Ryan Thorson Carson. He is the environmental campaign coordinator for the New York Public Interest Research Group, one of those groups pushing to get this included in the budget. We appreciate you taking some time for us, Ryan, and I wonder if you could first just kind of make the case. I gave sort of the, the headline there, right, increasing the amount and then adding some additional types of, of bottles and cans to the list here. Um, make the case on, on why you think this is a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. So New York State right now is pretty down in the dumps as far as our waste management system goes. Um, we are seeing a major, major spike just in solid waste all across the state. Um, this really comes from a decision from China way back um, in 2016 to stop accepting solid waste from America. Um, and so we've really backed up and this is really filling up our landfills and it's really costing the taxpayer. And so we're hoping that by expanding to new types of containers while also raising the deposit, we'll be able to offset some of that stuff that's going into our landfills and make sure that it's actually recycled. Things get um, a, a much better recycling rate um, through the bottle bill than through, say, curbside recycling. I had no idea, Ryan, until we were discussing this um, during our editorial meeting today, that this actually dates back to the early 80s when they instituted the five cents per can or, or five cents per bottle, and it hasn't changed. Um, I mean, I, I was going to ask you about, you know, the timing of, of why this and why now. You kind of mentioned with what China is doing, but what would you say to, to people who worry if you're not in a place where you can easily, you know, return the cans and return the bottles, that this could be an added cost on people at a time when inflation is still high. You know, do you really want to go to the grocery store and, and have to pay that much more for a 12 pack of pop, for instance? Well, I think as New Yorkers, we all have to do our part, right? I think that um, right now with what we're seeing in terms of municipal recycling systems, like I said, we're just not getting a very high recycling rate. We just have a ton of solid waste. There's obviously a lot more that the, the state can do here in terms of you know helping out to make sure that um, it is incredibly convenient for people to um, be able to bring back their bottles and cans. But really, this is going to save a ton of money for taxpayers. Um, it's estimated that um, there will be $70 million in uh, municipal tax savings just from passing this measure. So sure, people are going to um, you know, have to make that trip to the grocery store to return those. Um, you know, it's something that I do myself. Um, and you know, I think that we're really going to see the major, major impact on this. It's going to really bring down the cost of waste disposal. And um, so sure, it's going to take a little bit more of your time, but you don't get a rebate back on your taxes in terms of waste disposal. You do get your money back with the bottle bill. You touched on this, Ryan, of course, littering um, landfills are the consequences of, of when we don't recycle at the rates that we should be. Um, you hope that this will will improve that. Um, and I know that you say it's connected to this other concern, one that we don't see and that is sort of hard to, to grasp, but it's this microplastic pollution. Um, what is that and how does that factor into the concern that your group has and that others do as well? So chances are pretty much everybody who's listening to this interview has microplastics in their body right now. Um, we're finding that they are just about everywhere. And plastics are just a are just in a crazy state right now in the world. Um, it's estimated that by 2050, there's actually going to be more plastics by weight than fish in the oceans. So we really, really need to stop producing so much single use plastic and be moving to more sustainable things like glass. Um, we still don't know what the full health effects are from microplastics, but we know that it is connected to cell death. Um, which is um, a pretty terrifying thing when you uh, when you factor in that it's something that we're all ingesting. You know, the average person is eating a uh, credit card amount of uh, plastic every month, um, just in micro, micro, tiny little plastics. And so um, we're hoping that this is really going to incentivize as well these producers to start moving towards a more sustainable packaging model. Ooh, that's a gross thing to think of. Ryan, I've only got 30 seconds left. Are you confident that you can get this in the budget? And if not, obviously, as a standalone bill, do you, do you think it's going to get done? Yeah, we're in talks right now at the state legislature. There's definitely a lot of support for for this kind of broadly. You know, 71 percent of New Yorkers um, support an expansion of the bottle bill to new types of containers. We think that the legislature definitely understands that. And Governor Hochul says that it should be on the producer and not the uh, taxpayer, the cost of that disposal. And this fits right into that framework. Ryan Thorson Carson is an environmental campaign coordinator for the New York Public Interest Research Group, NYPIRG. Uh, Ryan, thanks for coming on. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate it.